All right, I am working on the transition right now. Um, I have one side done. Uh, I welded the top and I just screwed in the, t the front since that's some kind of um, not fiberglass. Yeah, it's probably fiberglass. I think that's what it is. But whatever. I just screwed it in the front and put a shit uh, crap load of silicone on it. Um, this is the way that I am mapping it out. Just using a line that I'm drawing on this plastic. It's the easiest way I found. I watched a video of somebody doing it and I thought it was the worst idea in the world. But it it's really the only way because there's so many different angles and the wrap and stuff it just can't use cardboard I'm so excited. We have visitors coming into town today. Um, it's actually one of you guys that I met through YouTube, which is really exciting. Um, you're in the beginning stages of building your bus and you are coming to visit our bus to check out our roof raise just to get some ideas. It's Missy. Our idea of building and showing you guys this journey um, is to inspire you and help you. and now that we're actually meeting one of you and helping it's really awesome and i'm so excited i can't wait um andrew just went to the store he is grabbing some different screws we've been having a heck of a time with our screws they just keep breaking and it's driving us nuts so he just ran to the store um but we are putting that piece up and then all we'll have to do is put that middle piece up right here for the transition and that will be done. So that means next is the back of the bus. As you can see, that hasn't been done yet. That shouldn't be all that hard. It's not a huge piece and we're just, I mean, most of it's gonna be a window anyway, so really shouldn't be that big of a deal. And
All right. So I got the second side up over here, but as you can see, I cut it a little too short. So it ain't gonna line up there. So I'm gonna have to cut it off somewhere right around where it meets up. So I'll be cutting a little bit off. No big deal, I guess, but it just pisses me off. <laughs> it's up. Hopefully that'll stay. Should. I'm gonna have to re. So I gotta weld the top. I just cut it. I cut it a little short. I don't know why. Should have just cut it way too long. Never do that. I would actually be like perfect lined up with the one over here if I just would have cut it the extra length. Just get it up here, then cut it after you get a good amount hacked off so you're not ending up short. But yeah, the round part is done. So all I gotta do is lay it across the top. It's still a little bit of an arch to it, but it ain't that big of a deal, not like the sides. Sides are really hard to do. I uh, just wanted to show you what it's looking like right now. That strap's not really holding anything. I just I had it up there to, so I can screw it down. I just gotta put like a V-shaped piece of metal in there. As we continue to make progress on the bus, we are dreaming of a life on the road, exploring new places, making new memories, creating space to be together as a family. I once read, when you feel that you have reached the end and that you cannot go one step further, when life seems to be draining of all purpose, that is the perfect opportunity to start all over again, to turn over a new page. And what a beautiful way for us to look at this big question we all have of how to reach fulfillment. Instead of chasing it and worrying about it, to think of it as a new exciting journey that you can start right now. I know one thing's for sure. When we speak to the older generations, the only thing they regret are the chances that they did not take. <laughs>